Hey there, here are your top news stories from eWeek, sponsored by Dell and Intel. Microsoft recently released iOS, Android, and Windows app for Dynamics NAV, its enterprise resource planning software platform for small and mid-sized businesses. The new tablet-optimized Dynamics NAV applications have snuck into the Apple App Store, Google Play, and Windows Store. More SMBs have been adopting tablets for their productivity-boosting benefits, according to a survey from the Dimensional Research for Mobile Virtualization Workspace Specialist and Computing. In fact, 97% of the 300 IT professionals surveyed said that anytime, anywhere access to data and business applications makes employees more effective at their jobs, while three-quarters reported that their employees use tablets for work. Advanced Micro Devices is partnering with Canonical on an integrated product package designed to make it easier for organizations to deploy a private cloud environment based on the OpenStack orchestration technology. The goal of the partnership is to give organizations the technologies and tools they need to build private clouds without having to spend a lot of money on the infrastructures or integrations of technologies. Docker Inc. announced that it has closed a $40 million Series C round of funding. This comes on the heels of the Docker 1.0 release and the emergence of a commercial ecosystem around the container virtualization technology. This is the second funding event for Docker in 2014. In January, Docker announced a $15 million funding round. CEO Ben Golub stated the latest funding round brings Docker's total funding, since its founding, to $66 million, and Docker has only now just begun spending the Series A funding money and is starting to tap into the Series B funds. Google is introducing a line of low-cost Android One smartphones in India in an effort to make phones and mobile service more affordable to some 5 billion people around the world who aren't yet smartphone users. Sundar Pichai, Google's senior vice president of Android, Chrome and Apps, explained that Google was inspired by the fact that people are increasingly getting their information through smartphones and they want to help more people have access to them. Thanks for watching. Follow the links on this page to learn more about the stories mentioned in this broadcast. And check back every weekday for another daily tech briefing from eWeek.com.